Today I'm going to put together a Raspberry Pi webcam server. Now this is split in three parts. The first part is for a USB webcam, the second part is for a Raspberry Pi camera board, and finally the third part is on how to enable the external access to the stream. Now we need to have Raspbian installed. If you haven't done this, then check out my video on how to get it installed. So firstly, let's update Raspbian and the packages installed by issuing the following commands. sudo apt get update, sudo apt get upgrade. Now we need to install motion. To do this, enter the command sudo apt get install motion. Now that's installed, we need to configure motion. To do this, enter sudo nano slash etc slash motion slash motion dot com. In here, we want to switch daemon to on, webcam local host to off. Now the next options you don't need to change, but if you want a larger picture and a faster picture, do these. Switch webcam max rate to 100, width to 640 and finally height to 480. Switch frame rate to 100. Now exit and save. Now we need to set up the daemon. To do this, let's edit the motion file by entering sudo nano slash etc slash default slash motion. Chain start motion daemon to yes. Now make sure your USB camera is connected and run the line sudo service motion start. This will start up our stream. Now I can check out my stream at my Pi's IP address with the port 8081. For example, my address is 192.168.1.103.8081. If we want to stop it, run sudo service motion stop. There we have it, a working USB webcam stream. Please keep listening if you have a Raspberry Pi camera board, as this setup won't detect that camera. Now we're going to set this up for the Raspberry Pi camera. So we will jump straight in. First, let's activate the camera. Enter sudo raspy config and go enable the camera. Don't restart the Pi just yet. Now let's get a firmware update for the camera. To do this, enter sudo apt get install rpi update. Now sudo rpi update and now it take the uh, about 30 minutes to download and install. Once done, let's reboot the Pi. If you haven't already installed Motion, run the following command, sudo apt get install motion. We also need the libjpeg package, so let's download and install it by going sudo apt get install libjpeg62. Now let's make a directory in our home folder. To do this, type cd squiggling line forward slash and then enter. Now mkdir mmal and then enter. And let's move into that directory now by typing cd mmal enter. Now we need to get dozen crows motion program. Now this is a long command so it might be best to pause and copy it or get it from our website. Now we need to extract the file by entering car dash z x z f motion dash mmal dot tar dot gt. Now that's done, we need to edit the config file by entering sudo nano motion dash mmal cam dot con. Now in here, change width to 640 height to 480, frame rate to 100, target to forward slash home, forward slash pi, forward slash mmal and video, output pictures to off, log file to the following, dream max rate to 100, and now exit and save. Now we can test this out by typing dot forward slash motion dash n dash c motion dash m m a l c a m dot com. And there you go, it's working. But notice how the terminal has now frozen up and I can't actually type anything without 
cancelling the current program from running. So that's not going to work too well. So let's build a couple of scripts. You can download these at my website or just copy them off the screen. Enter sudo nano start motion. This will open a text editor and also create a file called start motion. Now this is a long command to enter into this script so it's best to copy this from my website or try and pause and copy it off the screen. Now save and exit. Now for the stop script, so enter sudo nano stop motion. Now enter the following, you can again copy this off the screen or go to my website. Now we need to make these scripts runnable, so enter the following chmod command. Now we can simply issue the following command to stop and start the scripts. And there we have it, a fully working Raspberry Pi webcam server. Keep in mind, we will need to be in this folder every time you run those commands. If you don't want to do that, get an absolute URL path. You can find an example of these on my website. Now, if you want to set up external access to the server, we need to port forward on our router. All routers are different, but I will show you how I did mine. My router is located at 192.168.1.1. Port forwarding is under the forwarding menu on the left hand side. Select add new. Now the service port is the external port we want to connect to. Now you can set this to just 8081 or a random number like I did. The IP address is the IP address of our Pi. And the internal port is 8081, unless you have changed that number. Now click save. You should now have access to the webcam stream from outside your own network. Interested in more Raspberry Pi projects? Subscribe to me as I've got a whole heap of good stuff coming up. Also, if you're looking to learn more about the Pi, get my free crash course right here.